even though I, I didn't know the persons uh, mostly that were controlling the drone on the tablet, I felt somehow connected uh, to them in, in the way that we were creating this uh, piece of painting together. Face Ink uh, is a collaboration with Wacom, a pen and tablet manufacturer. And we started working together on it in 2020. The basic question or idea for them was how to connect their interfaces that they're making, the, the tablets, the pens, with the three-dimensional movement in space. So in 2020, uh, we started with this first iteration or this first step of Space Ink, where we used drones to do light paintings in a three-dimensional space. And this year we continued our collaboration with Wacom uh, in a general framework of Future Inc. So apart from spacing, there are also some other, uh, some other aspects uh, such as uh, AI Inc. or Bio Inc. And actually the Space Inc. collaboration this year was a bit smaller. We just did a prototype a very basic idea that we worked on. Our setup is that you have a uh, Wacom tablet and a pen and you draw on it. And as you draw on it, a drone is in a volume where it is tracked and where it can move freely. And on the ground of this volume, there is a very large canvas. The drone is equipped with a paintbrush that is dangling down from it. So as it hovers above the canvas, you can adjust the pressure of your pen to allow it to touch the canvas and start drawing. Basically, your traces that you make on the tablet are mapped to a much, much larger canvas, as if you were walking across this can canvas with a huge brush and kind of drawing yourself, but the drawing is doing that for you. So you can map your movements to a very different scale and a very different physical feeling. We thought about different ways how we could use the drone to paint. We had the idea of using spray cans, mount them on the drone. Of course, this would limit us for outdoor operations and we definitely wanted to also be able to draw indoors with the drone. We were using um, a plastic pipe filled with liquid paint connected to a brush. This way we were able to open just the valve and the liquid paint was flowing out of the tube into the brush to draw. The most challenging part in this case, I think, was to adapt the drone controls to the new way of flying, flying at a very precise height so that the brush actually makes contact to the ground, but without pushing down too hard. So you kind of have to find the sweet spot and, and really have to tune the, the behavior of the drone. This program is part of uh, Swarm OS. It is based on the Unity game engine and was originally developed to perform bot and swarm performances that were pre-designed. And for spacing, we adapted the tool to accept input from the pen tablet and control the drone on the fly uh, based on the user input. And on the other screen, I have a, a ground control running, which is kind of the like heart of Swarm OS. It uh, is the direct connection between the user input, which comes from over here to this computer, and then it c goes to the drone. Here is the last point where the decision is made what the drone is actually going to do.
the first couple of times I was in there with the drone were a bit, um, I was a bit worried because I, I already knew the drones. I, I've been there with the whole development on, on controlling the drones with our system. And of course, in the early stages, there were some troubles, some misbehaving drones. So uh, the first times I was a bit worried, but after some time spending with the drones and also seeing how well the security mechanisms work, I felt really free to do whatever I like in, in the area with the drone. And, uh, it was a very interesting experience for me. Even though I, I didn't know the persons uh, mostly that were controlling the drone on the tablet, um, I felt somehow connected uh, to them in, in the way that we were creating this uh, piece of, of painting um, together. The creative idea was that you, uh, you translate, uh, again, this very traditional technique of drawing and painting that everybody's used to so much, uh, and you introduce a um, very high-tech medium to it and see how it affects the process of what you what you intend to draw, what is the result of your original intention, and how um, how the element of surprise and of um, noise in terms of the physical noise, like the distortion that is introduced to the system, how that all affects the outcome. The difficulty of uh, how to adapt to the reaction time and to the physical constraints of the drone. I think that was very surprising to people. And so they, um, they just felt like, like entering that playful dynamic of finding out how to make the drone do something interesting that is still related to your original idea of writing something or drawing a simple shape. I think that, um, that kind of immediate learning effect was, was the most interesting uh, aspect. The human interaction is more fun, to be honest. If you if you play animations and you've seen them a couple of times before, you kind of know what each drone is going to do. But if it's a human controlling the thing, you don't really know what that human is planning to do next. The project was uh, just a smaller experiment, so in this case we didn't uh, go the full way, uh, as we prioritized the second uh, aspect, the uh, bio-ink of our collaboration this year. But um, if we come back to this project in the future, which I hope we will, uh, we want to um, emphasize the performance aspect of it in a way. Imagine that uh, you have a, an artist who draws with a drone and maybe another artist who draws with another drone and then another person who is in the space physically who draws with a brush and then they, they interact and they create a collaborative painting in real time. And we also want to extend the, at this point, purely two-dimensional uh, canvas to a um, more like a three-dimensional uh, painting surface. So if you imagine you introduce cubes and walls and things like that into the space, uh, if we change the way the brush is mounted and works on the drone, then we can also start painting on these other surfaces. So that could, could be really interesting new experience of really painting a whole room in a way.